Hey, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel. It's me. I'm back in my bowl. And wanted to show you this bag that I got for $35. It's a $550 bag from Dooney and Burke. Uh, before I show it to you, um, I've had this bag for a long time. Uh, when I first started getting really into Dooney and Burke, I was scouring sites like Let Go and Offer Up. I don't even know if those sites are still available, but they were like local buy, sell, and trade groups where um, you'd put in your location and within a certain mile radius, you could look for things for sale. But I saw this bag and I don't think it was even advertised as a Dooney and Burke, but I recognized it for what it was, which is an Alto bag from Dooney and Burke. And um, the picture that she had, the picture that the seller had, it was all swamped in a corner of her closet, but it was offered for $35. So I said I would buy it. And I went to, I believe it was a Borders bookstore. I don't even know <laughs> if Borders is still in business, but here it is. This is a giant bag. Let me measure it. It's 16 inches across and it's even a little wider up at the top, a little longer, I should say, 16 inches long. It's about 10 inches high, maybe a little bit over that. And it's six inches deep. And it has an eight inch shoulder drop. I can fit it over my shoulder, but it takes two hands to do it. You can't sling it over your shoulder very easily. It's embossed leather, embossed like crocodile. And here's the Dooney hang tag. <laughs> Am I even showing that? <laughs> Here's the Dooney hang tag. There's no corner wear at all on this bag. This is just the glare from the ring light. And then there's four feet on the bottom. Here's a better look at the hang tag. And then it has this tongue and loop closure. I have it stuffed with a beach towel. That's how big it is. And then it's the unfinished leather. the external sides of the bag, both front and back. And then there is a center pocket that has the leather um, about a good three inches or so. And then there's this zip center pocket. This was basically the photo that she took that she posted on Offer Up or Let Go. But this is what I wanted to show you. It says DB Italia and it says Natural Lou Shopper, uh, $525. I think I said $550 at the beginning. If I don't get a good picture of that, I'll insert one. 
then DB Italia and the care instructions. And there's a small leather pocket here. And then on the other side of the center pocket, there's another leather pocket that was probably at one time a cell phone pocket. There's no other pockets in this bag. Oh, I have it stuffed again to kind of give it its shape back. But um, when she didn't have measurements listed when I bought it. And when she pulled it out of her car, I saw how giant it was. But um, I remember I was going to tell her or I was going to ask her if she was aware of the Dunian Burke trade-in program because she could have sent this bag back to Dooney at the time and gotten half of that retail price, so half of $5.25 towards a brand new bag from Dooney. But I started to ask her about it and she was just like, where's my $35? So I gave her the money and hightailed it out of there with the bag. But that's my 500, 500 plus dollar bag, a Dooney and Burke Alto that I got for $35 a long time ago. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.